Welcome to this short demo video showing off how easy it is to recover from ransomware using Zerto. I've got Zerto up and running and I'm protecting my file server. I actually have my file server replicated to the same site, so local replication to ensure fast recovery. So as you can see, it's meeting my SLA and it currently is achieving an RPO of five seconds. On this file server, I have hosted my important PDF files. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use a ransomware simulation tool to simulate a ransomware attack. So on this file server, I'm going to click the fake ransomware file and it will actually encrypt all my files and give it some kind of random name. So as you can see, I can no longer access my files again because they are encrypted. Right now it's 2.31 PM so what I need to do is I need to recover to a state before all my files were encrypted. Now there are several ways I can do a recovery from ransomware. One of them, in this case, only one folder has been encrypted, so I could simply use Zerto's file restore capabilities and restore that folder. So let me quickly run you through that process. Click Restore, go to File, select the VM you need to recover from, or the VPG, in this case, it's the file server local VPG. It's the Win file server 01. Click next, select a point in time I want to recover from. Actually, I'm gonna make sure this is before 2.30 PM. So let's pick 2.29, click next, start the mount. So what will actually happen in the background is we'll start mounting those disks. And as soon as all the disks are mounted, we give you the ability to browse the file system and quickly restore files and folders from that. So let's see what that looks like. As you can see, I right now have a task running, which is called file restore mount. So the mount is in progress right now. As soon as the mount is completed, I'll be able to browse the file system. As you can see, I can click the browse icon right now Click next, go to the folder I need to recover. In this case, it's the important folder. And as you can see, all my PDF files are here unencrypted. So I simply select the entire folder, click next, and I'll be able to download all the files and recover them back to the original system. Now let's say not only my file system or not only a single folder is encrypted, but my entire file server or maybe even multiple servers. Using the failover process, I can quickly start a copy of my VM as it was a few seconds ago or a few minutes ago. So let me quickly run through that process as well. I click failover, I click live. We're in a live recovery scenario right now. I click where I want to recover from or from which virtual protection group I want to use. In this case, I'll use my local file server copy, making sure that it recovers to my production site, so locally. Click Next. Select a point in time that I want to recover to. Again, I need to make sure that's before the files were actually encrypted, so I'll make sure I'll do it before the files got encrypted. It was around 2.30. Let's make sure 2.29. As you can see, granularity down to the second. I have to make sure that my original server is shut down before I start the recovery to make sure we don't get any conflicts in IP addresses and such. Click Next and start to failover. So what will actually happen now is we'll shut down the original VM and start the VM as it was a few minutes ago with unencrypted files. As soon as the process is done, I'll show you that all my files are back again as they were unencrypted, making sure that I can continue my work again. So as you can see, the failover process is done. So let's see if I can access my files again. And as you could see, within a matter of minutes, I've got recovered my entire file server.
Thank you very much for watching this video.